Intense colours brighten what would be everyday events. Pierre Bonnard is a master at capturing fleeting moments in time. The drinking of a cup of tea, a longing gaze out to sea, or even just his favourite landscape on a summer's day. With the colour of memory, the Tate Modern has chosen to focus on the latter half of Bonnard's life, when his unique style emerged in 1912, up until his death in 1947. Up until now, his work has tended to be shown um, in groupings, so all of the figurative works will be shown together, all of the landscapes, the still lives. But we were really keen to introduce a chronological structure because that allows you to see that he was constantly jumping. You know, he was working on multiple paintings at one time, multiple different subject matters. The exhibition emphasises Bonnard as a 20th century artist who was engaged with the world around him frequently travelling around France and responding artistically to the First and Second World Wars. Unlike most of his contemporaries, Bernard preferred to work from memory rather than painting what was directly in front of him. And you can see from work like this that that technique created a dreamlike quality and a feeling of improvisation. He describe the object as a hindrance to the painter, which seems like an odd thing to say, um, but maybe to expand on that, he felt that when you were seated directly in front of the object or the figure, that you began to become really overwhelmed by the details, by you know directly capturing the colour, by ensuring that the proportions, the perspective was correct, but he was more interested in capturing the emotion of a moment. Um, and by working from memory, it allowed him to really hone in on the details that mattered to him. His unconventional compositions are striking for their layering of colour, which somehow elevate the domestic scenes they portray into something much more poignant. The cubists, for example, were really creating these strong, sharp blocks of colour, and they were you know, not entirely in, in agreement with the way that he was applying paint to the canvas. But for me, it's almost the best of both worlds. He was being so experimental in terms of memory. He was using an incredible you know, combination of colours, but he was still you know, looking back to figures like Monet and creating this dappling. But his canvases, when I look at them at least, they really do seem to vibrate because of that layered application. Bonnard's artistic career straddled two centuries, but here he is very much positioned as a modernist. And though he didn't always get his proportions right, his still lifes were often flat, his dogs and people unrealistic when viewed up close. It's his ability to capture a moment and a feeling that's marked him out as one of the greatest colorists of the 20th century. Miranda Atty, TRT World. London.